Uh, I literally just got back from looking at uh, Star Wars Resistance. And honestly, from looking at it, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. I mean, everybody knows how crazy the internet went over it, you know, appearing. You know, people was not liking it. They were shitting on it. They, you know, said that it's just going to be another kitty shit some, or any bad Star Wars from, from uh, Disney. You know, that's the common thing that's been going on lately. Uh, and, of course, after seeing the trailer, although I was kind of here and there with it, I mean, when I saw it, I was like, this looks like some Ruby shit, some Genlock shit, some... Uh, um, some uh, 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 <coughs> uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man animated series with Neil Patrick Harris. It looked like some shit like that. Not a bad thing. I was just saying it reminds me a lot of those kind of when I first saw the trailer and animation. Um, okay, so I saw it and the video was like 40 minutes or, or so, I like give or take. It's like 40 minutes. <gasps> but although how simplistic and, 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 and you know how um, you know straight to the meat and potatoes the story was uh, I actually kind of didn't even I kind of almost forgot that it was 40 minutes I thought it was just your regular lengthy 20 episode thing but I, I almost forgot about I almost forgot that it was even 40 minutes in the first place um Okay, uh, the main character is Kaz. He's in, he's an inspiring uh, uh, a pilot who wants to be part of the Resistance. Um, and if I'm pretty sure, Resistance takes place before uh, The Force Awakens, Episode 7, I think. It, yeah, it takes place before The Force Awakens. That's what I heard. Uh, it's, before all, it's before all that shit. Um, let's see. Uh... The graphics they were good, although honestly I kind of thought most of the most of the uh, models, especially the male models, how how they were, you know how their their sprites, their renders look. I kind of thought they looked really odd because it was like it was like their their arms were literally as long as their legs, like it, like their arms were so long it looked like they could like you know just their their no their arms nearly almost reached their. Uh, Went, o went over their kneecaps. It looked at really that the overall actually renders and sprites for the characters actually looked really odd. And uh, pause, of course, pause. But it seemed like their crotch was like pulled too far up to their abdomen. Um, it was too. It was pulled up too far. You could say and just looked at this really odd. They kind of looked like a. When I saw that, when I saw the renders in general, <coughs> they kind of remind me of uh, uh, Gasser from Boba Bo, how he's drawn, how, how his legs are so lengthy and, 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 and his, uh, his uh, thighs is nearly pulled up to his to his upper body. It just, the overall renders look kind of odd. Uh, they they could have fixed it a little bit. It was kind of, it was, it was a little ugly. I'm not even going to lie. Uh... The overall animation graphics was pretty good. Like I said before, it reminds me a lot of uh, Spider-Man the Animated Series. The one with uh, Neil Patrick Harris. But of course, you know, better. Because that series is like, that series is about like 14 years old now. I mean, in, during the time it was made, like 2003, give or take, I forgot. Uh, uh, hmm. When I first went to this, when I first saw this, I thought this was going to be like uh, more or less like Star Wars Rebels, which in general Star Wars Wars Rebels, as we all probably think, Star Wars Rebels is pretty much Star Wars and Clone Wars, but watered down, not as violent. I only think they cursed in Rebels. You, you actually would hear like a few curse words here and there in Clone Wars. So pretty much when I first saw it, I thought it was just going to be another thing like Star Wars Rebels. Where it's gonna be like Star Wars and Clone Wars were toned down. And aside from that, of course, uh I'm glad that Star Wars and Clone Wars is coming back. I actually really do enjoy that show. It's a it's a good military sci-fi, uh, for the most part. Um But anyway, uh yeah, I thought always thought resistance was gonna be a, a watered down, toned down, uh 
version, just like Rebels is the Clone Wars. But actually, turns out it seemed like a uh, it seemed like Resistance was actually going for a more different uh, uh, approach in the story, in the structure. Uh, this whole time, I might actually almost I almost thought it was gonna be this, you know, just like Rebels, the action, you know, for kids was toned down and whatnot. It's, it's less suggestive. But no, actually, Resistance go for this more, you know, racer, team race approach from what we've seen from the first episode. Like, I only know, like, you know, she's going to get really deep or she's going to get really nitty gritty and action packed, you know, when the plot needs it. But from what I've seen so far, it looks like it's going to be more, you know, racer. You know, I race to win. I, I, I do everything like Initial D or, or a Speed Racer. It's kind of has that more formula and it's a uh, it's theme and storyline it's more it's more you know race it to win it type thing it's not it, from what can occur it's not going to be this you know over action-packed military sci-fi like a uh, clone wars which is not a bad thing because in defense of resistance at least the writers are trying to go to a different path a different direction a different story um Okay, uh, Kaz, I just pretty much, when coming to the characters, Kaz, I don't technically dislike uh, Kaz, but I do find him, like, really, really, really generic and, and, and really, you know, form a really formulated character, and I'm still saying my favorite character so far on uh, Resistance is still Paul Dameron. Hey, I, he's my favorite character from, from, uh, uh, the Disney Jones, Force Awakens, and Last Jedi. He's still my favorite character from them. So, in terms of in terms of characters, I still think Paul Dameron is currently my favorite one. I'm still tuning in. Uh, I'm actually surprised that uh, uh, Princess Leia showed up and they got a convincing enough. I'm not gonna say convincing, but convincing enough voice actor for. Her. I'm kind of surprised how they they they, they kind of pulled that off a bit. Although she was like only a hologram and whatnot, uh, Kaz is your 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 bare bone, stereotypical cliche, Luffy esque, Goku esque, Midoriya esque main protagonist insert here character. So I don't technically dislike Kaz, but he's most definitely not my favorite character and. He's most definitely wouldn't be the first. Uh, he wouldn't be the driving reason why I'll keep looking at it. Um, let's see the 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 dumb green alien that, that was just you know egging him on to do the race because you know he had his dick in his mouth throughout that whole thing. The one who talked weird. He's pretty much that version's uh, uh, Jar Jar Binks. People think uh, Rose Tico took it up, but no, actually, uh, right now from least just first. First, like, I don't know, two minutes of him on screen. Already like that, he was Jar Jar Binks. So, right now, I wasn't... Uh, I was not feeling that character at all. He was annoying as shit. He just... He just wanted Cass's... He just wanted to get in Cass's pants. That, his whole dialogue, his whole... The whole thing I heard, he just kept egging his man on. Cause it seemed like he wanted to get in his draws. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I wasn't fucking with him. Okay, uh, the black mentor guy. The black mentor guy uh, is a black mentor guy. He's, he's he's your insert here mentor to the to the main protagonist character. I was like, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, the black British girl mechanic is a cunt. But then again, I can see where she's going. So yeah, that that's pretty much out there, and I don't know much about her. The racer girl is also going to be his love interest. Uh, let's see. Um, well, that's probably about characters. Yeah, I can think about. Um, I think there could have been more in terms of the aliens, like more background alien characters, or just alien characters in general. I didn't, they weren't, <clears throat> in terms of their designs, it didn't really seem all that, you know, they didn't seem that uh, intriguing. They 
they were really, you know, uh, to the earth design, you know, alien characters. They weren't as, you know, as eccentric or as, you know, uh, uh, pizzazz or what's the word I'm looking for? There's not enough detail. There wasn't enough substance put into their design. Most of them were just giant animals. So I guess that's a that's I guess that's a hand clap to the furries. If, you know, if you're a furry, then yeah, that's a hand clap to you because most of the aliens just look like giant animals. There's not enough spice, enough zinga, enough. There wasn't enough put a uh, chetspa put into the alien designs. They were kind of most of them were really uh, inspiring. It's, it was just like a, a Guardians of the Galaxy. Most of the alien characters just didn't have enough depth. Most of them were just people, blue people and whatnot. Just like the only real people actually look, actually had effort into it was uh, uh, Mantis. She actually does look like there's something there to her. I can't speak for Drax or or, uh, or Thanos, who's just a giant purple guy. But uh, anyway, yeah, um, uh, bottom line of it, I think that overall alien designs are just not it's just, it's just not there in this. There could have been more to them. They kind of look like really bland and dull. Most of them are giant humans or just frog-looking-esque looking people, but brown and, and giant. Or one of them was small or whatever. The one who bent is dark, which Cash should have saw that because if he's looking at the dark, he should have known that the, uh, one of the wings were bent. So he should have, you know, the tail was bent. So, yeah, that way, it just, that was just a really stupid scene, especially on Cass's part. Uh, yeah, there could have been more to the alien designs, more or less. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm, the overall theme and concept and structure of the story really flabbergasted the fuck out of me. I thought it was going to be action packed, it wasn't. It's more of this initial D speed racer thing, which is not a problem, but. It, 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 but, uh, I'm not going to completely speak on the behalf of people who had high expectations, but I know there's, there, I know they're probably like really disappointed that it's not like, you know, the next Clone Wars or anything, or of course people had low expectations, just, you know, didn't give a shit enough about it. Um, well, that's pretty much about it. There's a lot of fan service. They mentioned Phasma, so we're going to, Probably get actually more detail on that character instead of her just being a uh, 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 cannon fodder for a fan or just a plot device. We're actually gonna, or at least I'm hoping, because I just literally just seen the first episode. Uh, we at least we're gonna see more to this character as it uh, as they approve as they uh, mentioned or ha how they're gonna take it off. Like she's gonna serve as actual but main uh, re recurring antagonist for this. Um, they kept the, uh, Kaz's dad, like, this incognito thing, like, they, like, they, they, like, uh, like, the writers don't know, like, he's gonna turn out to be an antagonist, or he's gonna turn out to be something else, you know, they try to, they're trying to surprise us, but you can literally just smell it about to happen. Um, uh, more or less my overall thing, I'm gonna have to say, uh, I don't exactly, like, love this, because in general, I'm not really an avid Star Wars fan. I, love, I like Star Wars, but not like like it. But, in this, but severing Star Wars aside from just looking at Resistance, I don't technically like it, and I don't hate it. And it's definitely not this bad, terrible, assy uh, uh, TV show as a lot of people said it was going to be. It's, it's fairly decent, so I'm going to have to give it an adequate, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, by the way, uh, I got a Deviant Art account finally open. Yeah, I do art. I don't just, you know, talk shit and, 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 and review, you know, shit and, and on this, on my adequate channel. I actually do more shit. So, yeah, uh, you can check it out in the link description below. And like all, uh, 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 give notifications, like and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, uh, give notifications so you can stick around for any more shit I make. Uh, and whatnot. Leave the comments down because I accept criticism here. And uh, I'll be back for more shit. And like always, man, the storm is watching y'all.